Okay, welcome back everybody. So before we start working on the actual implementation of the Scott CPU and going through the different circuits that are required, I thought I would uh, take a bit of time to introduce the development board or the device that we're going to be used to uh, implement um, the CPU. So this is a FPGA board made by a company that's called Digilent. It's the Basis 3 board. So what is um, FPGA? It stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. So basically it's a bunch of um, little uh, devices called LUTs, lookup tables, that you can program to behave like various different gates. So uh, using the proper software and hardware definition language, you can basically create the integ an integrated circuit on this board. So this part here in the middle that I'm pointing to, this is really the brains of the of the FPGA where you will have all the the circuitry uh, to create your your logic. Uh, there is also a bunch of different uh, peripherals, if you want, or or ways to interact with with the board uh, that are really useful when you want to make demonstrations, like we will be doing in the next couple of videos. So first of all, you have a bunch of switches here at the bottom. So these switches are on and off, and they will be used in our case to specify data uh, to uh, be sent to different circuits in uh, the CPU. So if we want to enter, uh, let's say, a binary value of one, we will we will flip this this switch here. I put a little red tape here. Most of the time, we'll be using this these eight bits here. In certain cases, we'll be using uh, the right, uh, the left parts, excuse me, as well. Uh, secondly, if you, I don't know if you can see properly, on top of each of these switches is a little white square, which is uh, an LED. And we will be using this LED to display the values uh, that of the power that is going on specific wires inside uh, our CPU circuit. Also, we have here uh, some push buttons that are set up in sort of a game pad, if you want, uh, uh, orientation. Uh, we'll be using those as well. So in each demo, there's going to be numerous modes, if you want, um, of thing, different things that we're going to be doing, different circuits that we're going to be testing. We're going to use the top and the bottom buttons to navigate between the different modes. And uh, in many cases, we'll be using this left button here as the um, enable uh, um, um, wire, if we want, on many of the circuits. And the right uh, button here will be used for the set uh, wire. There is also uh, what is called a seven segment display here that will be used to indicate which uh, mode if we want the the demo is operating in ultimately i would like to uh, implement this seven segment uh, display as uh, an io device for the for the scat cpu and when we will be uh, writing short uh, assembly programs uh, we can send the result to this output device in order to to view it uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, introduction to the development board that we'll be using and uh, I'll see you in the next video where I will show uh, the basic elements of uh, the Scott CPU design, the most low-level gates and circuits and I will also be uh, showing a little bit of the code that I use to uh, to build the, these, these circuits although this is really not the goal of, uh, of uh, these, these videos to uh, go through all the code, you will see quickly that the code is really uh, basically a transposition of the diagrams that are in the book uh, into uh, the hardware definition language that can be used to program uh, this device. Uh, so, see you in the next video.